God says, you are mine. You are God's. You belong to God. You are reserved for Him. The story that comes to mind when I think about that is when I was in grade school, we had a very special spot on the entire school campus. And the kids, we fought for that spot. It was the spot right under this majestic, gigantic tree, under the canopy of branches and beautiful leaves. We would sit there and we loved it there. So here's the problem. Every time recess or lunch break happens, the moment we hear the bell ring, teacher says recess time or lunch break, all the kids who love that tree, we would be running out of the classroom. And you can just imagine, you know, all the different classrooms. You've got small kids, nine-year-old kids, 10-year-old kids, 11-year-old kids, you know, running as fast as they could because they want to touch a certain spot beneath that tree and reserve it. And you, you, all these kids running and saying, mine, mine, mine. <laughs> and then when we touch that, you know, we would be so happy because that spot is ours. It's reserved and no other kids can join except maybe our little barcada. And it was fun. It was a game for most of the kids, you know, running as fast as we could to say, this spot is mine. This is reserved for me. And I think about that. And you know what? I believe that God is a God who looks at you and he says, you're mine. You're reserved for me. You belong to me. Even if we do something bad and we do something that's not aligned to who we are, our identity as his son, as his daughter, as his God bearer, you know, we, we're made for holiness. We're made for him. We're made to love. We're made to care, to sacrifice, to be selfless. We are designed by God to love him and to love others and to serve. And we do something crooked. We do something that's, that destroys ourselves and that destroys and hurt other people. Even if we do bad stuff, we hear the voice of God. We hear our conscience. We hear the inner voice of God speaking and saying, you're mine. You're, you don't belong to the enemy. I've reserved you for myself, which is exactly what holiness means. Some people think that to be holy is, you know, to act pious or to be prayerful. You know, primarily the word holy or in Hebrew, hagios, is to be set apart. Yes, to be set apart for God. Meaning to say, God touching you and saying, you're reserved for me. You belong to me. And in our gospel for today, you have King Herod who did something horrible, beheading John the Baptist. And yet here he was still curious, still wanting to find out more about Jesus. And I want to believe that it is that conscience disturbing him. And that's what the voice of God does. That conscience, when we do something bad, it is still God, you know, inserting himself into our lives and saying, I'm not going to give up on you. You're mine. I created you. You belong to me. And I pray that we run to the Lord right now and we ask him to make our lives his. Amen. Before we pray, can I invite you to sign up for Soul Food, my free letter that I send once a week to brighten your day, to lift you up, to chart your direction in the right direction. I pray that God blesses you. All you have to do is sign up at bosanchez.ph. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord Jesus, thank you for the opportunity to say yes to this inner voice, your voice. Thank you that I am yours and that you call me to be, to belong to you. And Father, yes, I'm praying right now that every part of my life, every part I consecrate to you, I am set apart for you to follow you all the days of my life. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. To receive my soul food letter once a week for free, go to bosanchez.ph and sign up. 
and you will receive it in your inbox every week to brighten your day and to lift you up. God bless you more. See you tomorrow. Do you want to receive abundance in your life in every single area? My friend, sign up for my soul food letter at bosanchez.ph. You will receive brief, actionable, practical, very effective advice on your career, finance, health, relationships, love life, and your spiritual life. Delivered to your inbox every week. Sign up now.